Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Vanilla Survival in 1.16.1. Welcome back. We are still down here in the ravine, uh, but we are going to head home today because I don't have any more food in my inventory. I have a few carrots, but I need to farm those. I only have rotten flesh to eat. So uh, we're going to head out of here. If you did not watch the last episode, we went mining and we have quite a lot of resources now. Mainly iron, but most importantly, we now have three diamonds, which means we... Uh, wrong buttons. <laughs> we can now use those to make a diamond pickaxe and actually get to the nether. Actually, I'm gonna... Mm, I'm gonna leave the crafting table. I'm gonna leave the crafting table. Um, also, there are so many bats here. I don't know why. I would like a little bit more coal, maybe a stack of coal with us. Uh, I think that would be good. But anyways, we won't be doing mining today. Uh, we will be heading home and we need to finish our starter home a little bit. I want to uh, make it a little bit more completed uh, than it already is. So that is what we will be doing today. Uh, up is the way out, it would seem. So let's go up. Yep, see, see, important with torch, torch marking. Otherwise, I would be lost down here. But yes, let me get out of this cave and uh, I'll be right back. All right, here we are. It is currently night time, uh, but we should be all right. Let's make a small little uh, cobblestone staircase so we can get out of here. There we go. Nice. Let's get back home. Uh, but yes, today I want to make the home a little bit nicer on the inside. Whoa, our bamboo has grown. <laughs> I want to make it a little bit uh, homier on the inside. I need a couple of different furnaces, such as blast furnaces and... Uh, and uh, smokers and hey buddy hey buddy have you missed me i missed you um yes uh so that's what we will be doing but also uh i want to prepare for a little bit of a future project and that means i, w I basically want uh to start growing jungle trees i want a small little area where i can farm jungle wood essentially and yes this inside here definitely needs a um it's a bit of a cleanup. Also, I have like, I have no food. Wow. I guess I gotta go and uh, grab some more melons. I see some over here. I don't have an animal farm set up yet, so that's that's an issue. I don't really want to take too much from the environment over here. Um, oh, a skeleton. So, yeah, that's why I wanna make it start making some farms, but we should have some uh, melons over here somewhere. And I guess we should start growing some melons. I guess that animal farm is on the to-do list for sure. Oh, another parrot. Another parrot. We might have to capture another parrot and get... Ooh, oh, there's a gray one. Ooh, that's beautiful. Um, but I think we'll wait for that till another time because we have a lot of stuff to do today. All right, I have a few melons here. This hopefully should be enough to get us through uh, through a little bit um, I got an idea since we have the water here we might as well start growing some wheat and stuff so I should have some seeds in here uh, yes yeah, six wheat seeds that's not a whole lot but hey it is a start I'm just gonna make a hoe like so do we have any other seeds well we have the carrots and the potatoes of course um, because we, we might as well use this lake here and to be fair with you I think it's gonna look pretty cool to have uh, just crops here. Maybe if we start over here, if we just clear... Oh, I actually don't have a shovel. <laughs> okay, I don't have a shovel. Well, I've just cleared a little bit of an area, and I think if we just farmland all this, I think the water should reach this fourth block. I'm hoping. I think it should. I guess we'll see. But anyways, then we can just place a bunch of stuff down, a seedy place. So carrots and potato. Does it reach back there, I wonder? I don't know if it... Yes, it does. Perfect. Well, we have a little bit of a small farm going. We also have our sugar cane, which we can now extend uh, the bamboo. I don't think the bamboo has to be near water, actually. So let's correct that real quick. I'm going to remove all these. It is such a satisfying sound. That was extremely satisfying. <laughs> and we have over a stack. Wow. 
Um, maybe we don't need to replant them right away. I'm going to, but wow. <laughs> That's a lot of bamboo. Uh, I don't know, where should we put it? I guess we'll put a little bit of a bamboo forest over here. Oh, okay, maybe just... Yeah, something like that, and then we'll save the rest. And the sugarcane we can then plant over here. Perfect, sweet. Then we can also maybe have some more farmland over here. Nice. All right, that is taken care of. A little bit of farming. And uh, I definitely want to, I think, maybe expand the farm a little bit this way. Maybe make a nice path going over here. And then staircase down over there. That's kind of what I envision right now. But anyways, uh, the inside here needs needs a big uh, revamp. I need... I'm thinking three of each kind of furnace. Now, I did just realize that I only have one jungle log, three jungle planks and four jungle saplings, which is not quite enough for what we need to do. So I have a jungle sapling here, I have a little bit of bone meal and some bones. I'm gonna convert all the bones into bone meal, and we're gonna start a jungle sapling farm. Nothing fancy, nothing with fences or anything. Um, hmm. But I'm thinking of doing it over here, just on this patch right here. I guess we'll work just fine. I guess we can make something a little bit fancier in the future. But for right now, I just need something that works. I don't really have a specific design in mind either. So, yeah, I think we just, we'll just just have to do this and, uh, yeah, think of something later. Well, this has now been chopped and now I just have to hope to uh, get a few saplings back. Hopefully more than one. Wow, the one spot where we put the potatoes has not yet been hydrated. <laughs> I just find that a little bit funny. Alright, so I have just put down a floor here while I was waiting for the tree, to, to the leaves to decay, and hopefully we now have some saplings. If not, I have to go down and chop another tree. We should have some saplings, I hope. Maybe? Oh. Well, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> I don't think any has dropped and then despawned. Um, hmm. Well then, I'm gonna sleep, place down the bed, I'm gonna sleep, and then I'm, uh, I'm gonna go and chop down another tree. Also, I was kinda thinking, even as you saw in the time lapse there, I was kinda thinking of lowering the floor down to, uh, to slabs. Um, but then I thought that the bed cannot sit, basically, if I did this, then, yeah, that happens, so... That wouldn't work, and of course other blocks wouldn't be able to place like be placed like that. So, yeah, it, it's just gonna have to be like this for for now at least until I think of some other design. Um, the, regarding the wall, though, I do have some ideas with that. Um, but I, I need I need a little bit more wood. I I want to get the jungle wood. Yeah, I don't think I have enough. So I want I want <laughs> jungle trees growing here first. All right, I have a new sapling. Uh, it took a little bit. I, I don't feel like I'm getting a whole lot of saplings here, but, um... Mm, I don't know, but uh, we're gonna place this bone meal it. Oh dear. Oh, I guess we now have a, some flowers here too. Cool. <laughs> oh, I already have another sapling. Okay, that's really good. Okay, I'm gonna place that over here. Grow that one. Nice. This is really good. Okay, hopefully we're gonna get quite a few saplings from this. Now I can go back and we can finish the interior of the inside. I'll just have to remember to come back and check for more saplings later on. Hopefully this works. Alright, so now it comes to the walls. This shall be interesting. Um, yeah, this is gonna be very interesting. I think it's time for another time lapse. Okay, so I'm a little bit stuck here. I would love to extend the walls a little bit so I have more walk 
walking room, I guess. Uh, but if I do that, then this is not gonna look very good. At all. So I can't really do that, because then this pillar would be over here, and then this wouldn't look that good. Especially because this would not be the same either. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, to be honest with you, I will have to just live with having it here, pretty much. Unfortunately. <laughs> hmm. Because my idea was something like this, and then have the blocks replace the, the stairs, pretty much. But essentially, the design would be this, pretty much. Like so. Which I think works. I think this will work. Um, I just want a little bit more room, but I guess I guess small is fine. Let's get to work. Alright, I actually think I like this. Now it's very small, but the good thing is we can extend in this direction. We can extend that way if we want to. Um, yeah, I think I think I really like this. I might extend it a little bit further, to be honest with you. But, I will say I think I like how this looks for now. Um, Maybe a few adjustments here or there, but it's small, it is meant to be small, okay? It's meant to be small, it's small, it's compact, and yeah, I, I like it this way. I think I like it this way. Maybe a little, as I said, a little bit bigger in this direction, but I think this is good. Now this up here, the stair, obviously isn't going to work because of the way bits work and the way your spawn point is set, uh, but this will work just fine this is definitely I think this has definitely made this place look a lot better uh, there we go yeah now of course I need to do something with the ceiling uh, hmm I guess actually I can make this design over here as well I guess that might look uh, I'm not moving the chest again <laughs> nope nope this stays like this uh, we could have barrels in here for storage and then we could have the furnaces here or we could have those over here. I don't know. I just want at least one of each furnace, basically. Which we should be making right now. But first we should sleep and then... Oh, hey, Barrett. First we should sleep and then we should take a look at the saplings to see if we have any. Because hopefully we do. Because I need more jungle wood. And again, I don't want to... Are you serious? No sapling. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong button. Ah, the parrot made a creeper noise. I thought it was a creeper about to blow me up. Are you kidding me? No, no saplings. It can't be because it has despawned. Impossible. You know what? Give me a seed. I need a seed. You know what? No, I'm dropping a melon over here and I'll be back for it. <laughs> it can't be because it despawns, can it? I guess it can, I don't know. But anyways, I think this looks pretty good. Let's make the furnaces that I want. Uh, I guess the crafting table can then be over here. Um, but furnaces, we have a normal furnace, which we definitely do need. Then I want a smoker, which for that I believe it's just this. And we already have the blast furnace, so it's actually just one furnace that we need to make. Uh, normal furnace, boom, put that in there, and smoker. Cool, that's very good. Now, I can actually cook these ores at a relatively quick speed. Nice. I can make it cooler. Actually, I just had a little bit of a cool idea, which I think I'm definitely going to make. Whoopsie. Uh, it is going to cost some iron and some wood, but we have all of that. And I think it would just be a little bit of a fun thing to add to the base. So if we add that there... Uh, if I make this all into logs, make all these into chests, 
like so, and then turn all these chests into hoppers. Don't know if you can see where I'm going with this. And we take these up and we put them up here. And we for sure <laughs> replace that back there with jump wood. Again, this is this in here is definitely going to be uh, reorganized into categories and such like I usually do. Um, and then we can have hoppers facing that way. And this way, when something is done, it just instantly gets taken out and put into this chest over here, which is for stuff like this. So it gets done, it gets into the hopper, and we should be able to see it update in a bit. Yep, 17. Yeah, I like that. And then in here we have the other random stuff. Yeah, I like that. That's a that's a <laughs> that's a nice little thing to add here. Um, I'm not sure with the roof. I think I've got to wait with the roof. I think this episode is getting kind of long. Um, now I spent a little bit of time on that. Let's see if the melon slices there. Melon slices there. So is the egg. Well, I'm gonna have to uh, get some more some uh, some more saplings off camera for the next episode because I wanted to in the next episode start the um, the jungle watchtower idea that I got and that I told you about in the last episode I would like to start that um, but we do have other priorities such as the tree farm maybe I then can think of some some form of design for it and we definitely need to get some um, some animals going and a bigger farm for this stuff um, granted we do have carrots here that has grown very nicely and wheat as well granted we have this stuff then we need a bigger area for this this is gonna be just for startup and I guess in the future decoration but we need a dedicated area for that so I think in the next episode we're gonna focus on farming and trees um, because we need to get that sorted definitely to get that sorted but anyways that is going to do it for this episode I think I really really hope you enjoyed actually I want to really quickly uh, put a torch here and a torch here and I do need a new pickaxe <laughs> but I like this this is really cool we can also actually have a um, I think we can even have a chest over here well we would have to have a chest over here but that would then feed into some hoppers going basically this way. And it would, I think the way it would work is it would try to put it down into this. If it does not go into this, then it would try this one. And if it does not go into this one, then it would go into this one. We might do that in the next episode as well. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Also, by the way, I have looked at the names for the parrot and I think I have found one that I like. But, um... Feel free to give more suggestions down below in the comments for the parrot. I think so far only two people have suggested. So give me your suggestions. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and hope to see you in the next one. Oh dear. Wonderful day and uh, goodbye.